Hey there, once again, it's me, Gina Sala, and welcome to another episode of Pageant Talks, another season of Pageant Talks, and we are now in season three, and I'm so happy that finally we're doing a Miss Universe Philippines special, and opening season three is Ingrid Santa Maria, finalist to Miss Universe Philippines 2021. So Ingrid, oh my God, or Sam. Uh, yes, you can call me to call you. You can call me Sam. <laughs> but most of your friends call you what? Ingrid or Sam? All my friends call me Sam. Ingrid is my real name actually, but I'm named after my grandmothers. So they already have that name. So my parents nicknamed me Sam. Okay, so you're the second Sam that I interviewed because the first one is Samantha Pandilio. And oh, how cool. you're Sam. Yeah. So Sam, um, how are you? How are things? Like, um, how have you been? You've been like <laughs> in everyone's radar. How does it feel? I've been, it's been, everything's so new in this journey and it's all so, so exciting to me. And at the same time, there's just a lot of things that I still have to get done. Yeah. I have so many things to get done, hopefully before we go into the bubble and I'm hoping and praying that I make it into the top 30 so that I can get the full experience of Miss Universe Philippines. But I'm really just enjoying the journey right now. Yeah, I can see that. And like, it seems to me like you're this new girl who got into a national pageant. And how does it feel like you're a new girl and then you're catapulted into this you know, position being a front runner? Oh my gosh. Every time I hear that, it just, it's so unbelievable to me because this is something I'm doing for the first time with zero experience. And being next to those other candidates who have been doing this for most of their lives is so surreal. And I'm really, really glad because I've worked so hard to get to where I am today. And I would have to thank my mamas at the camp for that. Thank you to all the mamas for supporting me and for making this transformation happen. Yeah, and if that is the if if that's how a first timer would look like, how much more if you are a pageant veteran? <laughs> so Sam, okay, this is gonna be a casual interview and you're gonna do a QA challenge later. So are you ready? Of course. Okay, so Sam, question number one. We just wanna get to know you. So who is Sam or Ingrid Santa Maria and what makes her special from the other 100 Miss Universe Philippines candidates? Well, I'm somebody who's done many things with my life. I've dabbled in sports, I was an athlete, I'm a corporate professional right now, I work in e-commerce, I came from marketing, I used to be a writer for a magazine and I've done a lot of things. I was even a youth leader and I've just found that what truly makes me special is that although I do go into many different fields, I never do anything half-heartedly. I always put my whole heart into every single thing that I do. And I think that's what helps me become a better person and somebody who is well-rounded and holistically developed. And, you know, there's this saying by our saint at um, the high school I came from, and it's, love never says I have done enough. And... That's something that I still live by. And every time that I do something, I do it in love. And that's why I feel like I always succeed in it. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so speechless. Okay. <laughs> I'm just fascinated by you right now, so I'm just like, wow, amazing. So, okay. I love what you said. Like, love doesn't always um, say that you've done enough. Um, I'm going to live by that too. So, Okay, so how do you spend most of your free time? Because like, I feel like you're a very fun person who could, whom I could invite for um, skateboarding, basketball, swimming. Am I right? Well, I'm somebody who loves keeping herself busy. Before this whole Miss Universe pageant, I've of course been really into my work and I've I've taken a leave since then, but now I spend all my time training for this pageant. But any free time I get, I love to spend with my family. I'm somebody who just loves sitting down and doing nothing together with them, whether that's watching movies together or baking treats for each other or even just spending quality time together. That's one thing I love doing. Yeah, that's what makes it special too. So before we go to the last question of getting to know you, um, you mentioned earlier that you were a youth leader. Can you elaborate more on this one? 
I've actually been a youth community leader in my local community for the last 10 years. Oh and God. right now I'm just an active member. <laughs> yeah, it's something that I love because I was able to join as a 15 or 16 year old and I was able to learn so much from those people who have taught me. And in the 10 years that I've stayed, I was able to teach younger children, well, not really children, younger teenagers, how to do, how to lead and how to take care of people. And now it's so nice because I get to watch them teach others. And that's the beautiful thing I think about being in a community is that you can watch your growth and you can see how other people have grown through you. I can see you like doing a lot of ministry inside the church and um, uh, I hope one day with the pandemic or when the dust settles, I would like to invite you in our ministry in Tondo, Manila. We deal wow, with a lot of children. Wow, I would love that. Yeah, yeah. Please come with us, okay? And I just want to let you know because like God is impressing to my heart that He's so proud of you and continue what you do, making difference uh, to the lives of other people, okay? So, good job, okay. Sam. All Thank right. You. Okay, last question for part one. What made you decide to join Miss Universe Philippines? Because like, we were all surprised. Like, who is this Ingrid Santa Maria? Like, a, uh, she looks like someone who's like my classmate in high school or whatever. And now she's Miss Universe Philippines. What made you decide? Well, you know, pageantry hasn't always been in my line of vision. It's not something I envisioned myself doing since I was a child. It's something I kind of just was presented the opportunity with when the camp messaged me on Instagram asking me if I could train to possibly be a candidate for Miss Universe Philippines. I was at the time in my life, I was 25, I was in the middle of the pandemic and I said, you know, if not now, then when? When will I be able to live this dream of that somebody is believing in me for? And so that's how I actually joined. I just took a leap of faith and said, let's do it. Yeah, I feel like you're uh, the kind of person who's like very open to many things. Like you're adventurous, like you just want to try and, you know, and um, yeah, do something different. Yeah, anyway, I'm just really messed around by you. So <laughs> you're so amazing. Such a young woman, very accomplished. And I know that you can do so many things um, uh, in the near future. So before I'll go, I was just like, you know, I just, just had this quick thought. I know you're single. What's your ideal man? <laughs> That is so funny. I am very, very single. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got caught off guard there. No, it's okay. I'm just gonna like, I'm just, you know, keeping this conversation <laughs> light and fun. <laughs> I got caught off guard there. Well, for me, somebody who is a partner should have the quality of being there for you somebody who's responsible enough in their life and somebody who's accomplished enough in doing everything that it is that they're doing and that they're already okay on their own and then adding to that being there for you being there for you supporting you doing whatever it is that you love with you that's just really what i look for okay okay take note guys yeah, I'm so sorry for that question, Sam. I'm just like, you know, just led to ask you that. So, all right. Are you ready for your Q&A challenge? Of course. Okay, so this is something new that I'm doing with season three. I'm going to ask each of our guests with questions related to, the, to their pageant. So, for Ingrid or Sam, I prepared questions from Miss Universe 2002. So, question number one, Sam. If you were given the chance to represent another province at the Miss Universe Philippines, why? what would that province be and why? Not a lot of people know this, but my dad's side of the family is actually from Cebu. Oh. My grandmother, Dr. Ingrid Santa Maria, she spearheaded a 10-year music development program, which actually created the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra, which is now known as the Peace Philharmonic. So, even our ancestral home is in the heart of the city. It's really a place that I would love to represent because I love spending time there and it's, it shows my heritage. And it's nice that I'm able to represent a place where I'm really from. Oh, that's the reason why we could relate to each other because I'm also Cebuano. Oh! Yeah, and uh, 
yeah, most of my heritage are from Cebu and also from Siargao Island. But I spend most of my summers in Cebu. So that's the reason why I kind of get your vibe. Very laid back, pretty. Very girl next door. Yeah, classy. But you know, you know what I mean. So I hope we could like go to Cebu together, um, Sam, and you know, eat um, eat whatever. Uh, whatever. John! Please. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, dim sum. Oh well, of course, every, there's dim sum everywhere, but there's a special dim sum in Cebu. So, what is the biggest misconception about you? For some reason, maybe it's because I'm tall. People think I'm very mataray, when in fact I'm not. I'm super approachable and I'm very easygoing, and I'm somebody who my friends can always call to do random things, whether it's an errand, whether it's a new sport, or something that we can do together, maybe watch a movie. I'm just always available. So I don't think that I'm Mataray at all. Uh, well, yeah, I understand that because there's something about with height and Filipinos. If you're someone taller, uh, automatically they would label you as someone intimidating or hard to reach. So yeah, very good, Sam. Okay, number three. What is the one thing that you need to overcome? Well, I'm very much a Virgo, so I'm such a perfectionist and sometimes I seek the approval of others. And through this journey, you know, one thing I learned was that I need to believe in myself. I need to not second guess myself. I need to be sure of everything that I'm doing. So that's something I've also been working on through this journey and it's been a remarkable transformation. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because like um, my... My head seems sure is a Virgo, um, and she's very, you know, she's very good at what she does. And I feel like at this competition, like the Miss Universe Philippines, um, of course, uh, perfection is really, um, by theory, is just really a myth. But we are called to be excellent, right? So just continue to be excellent, Sam, and be yourself. <clears throat> People love you uh, with, you know, who you are, but you've already transformed from the day we saw you joining Miss Universe Philippines and from now, I mean, look at you now. Um, it's really so nice to hear. Yeah. I'm like, glad uh, everyone was on this journey with me of my entire transformation. It's it's a crazy ride. Yeah, and then you were able to pick up that fast and, you know, um, being, a, being in a pageant in the Philippines is really not a joke. It was as if you're joining the actual Miss Universe, right? So, so anyway, wow. Sam, number <laughs> Number four, what is the one thing that you have learned from yourself upon participating at the Miss Universe Philippines? Well, you know, I actually learned that I'm very, very meticulous to detail, like, especially even in training and in Q&A training, I like to ask, like, so how should I answer this kind of question? Or what's the attack we do with this kind of question? Or in Pasarela, when I walk, I want to understand exactly what foot goes first, where does the weight transfer, how will I be able to turn? And that's the way that I work. That's the way that my mind is wired. And that's also something new that I've learned about myself. I didn't know I was very, very attentive to detail. Well, yeah, that's also very good. Because, like, you know, if if you were someone under my uh, mentorship, I would be able to learn to and how to progress as a mentor. Because all of the things that we're teaching our mentees are or students are could not be break down easily so at least if you were my student i would really be so honored because you would help me break down all of those things right so i try my best to learn (laughs) but that's okay because like you know um it's teamwork and if you think that you know um people would always think that the job of a mentor is easy but it really takes two to tango. So the way you respond to your mentors is the way, is the only way that they could help you as well. So your mentors are so blessed to have you because you could break it down for them. So I good job. Understand. Yeah. So last question for this challenge before we end this very quick catch up with Sam. If your life were to be videotaped, what would you erase and what would you replace? Well, usually people would erase the hardships. And for me, all the things that I've gone through, all the hardships I've passed, those things have 
molded me into a better person. They've molded me to grow into the woman that I am today. And you know what? Even if I handled those situations in a different way when I was younger, I think right now I'd even want to replay those hardships. And I would look and think to myself, how could I have acted differently? How could I have been more kind? How could I have been more loving in that situation? And maybe I would be a more mature person at an earlier age. <laughs> <laughs> I get that because like earlier um, you said that you would love to break down things. You would like to figure out how things happen. So maybe just, well, of course, in reality, we cannot turn back time. But maybe you can, you know, I feel like you're a person that loves to reflect and maybe, you know, check what's in your heart, how to do things in the near future. So, Sam, before we end, why should you be the next Miss Universe Philippines? <laughs> the golden question. Um, I'm somebody who faces challenges head on and I'm somebody who is very holistically developed. But for me, winning the crown is more than just that. Winning the crown will enable me with a platform to inspire the youth to dream. It will, it will enable me to be able to teach them that there is something important that you can do when you change your mindset and that there are changes in the world that you can create. And that's something that is my passion. And I hope that I will be able to live that out. Okay. Yay. So I feel like you've, you've already convinced the judges if you uh, answer that question in the closed door interview. So Sam, before we end, I always say that, what else can we expect and look forward from you in the coming days you know um being a finalist to miss universe philippines finally being a finalist yeah my oh gosh well we filmed i mean we just did our zoom interviews so i think that challenge would be coming up soon i'm just not sure when we also have another challenge coming up i hope that my entry excites all of you and of course you can expect more pasabogs to come. Yeah. I have content <laughs> that I'm cooking up for you. And I'm so excited for everybody to be on this journey with me and seeing that people are supporting me, people are loving me, people are sending me so many kind words. It really touches my heart. So I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who's been here for me, whether you've been here from the start or whether you're just new. Welcome to the world of Ingrid. Yes. And any clue on your evening gown, your strategy for <laughs> styling, and you know, your not well, I, I know the direction for the national costume, but can you give us like a few hints, like tiny hints on your strategy for styling, evening gown, and national costume? I've always been somebody who is simple. I'm somebody who is authentic and true to herself. So you can expect me to show that on stage. You can expect that I'll have a clean look and I will just simply be me. I feel like I already have an idea of your of the color of your gown, but don't worry, nobody <laughs> said it to me. I'm just like <laughs> I'm just like making a wild guess in my head. So oh gosh. Oh. Maybe you'll be right. <laughs> Tell me your guess. <laughs> yeah, after the recording, yes, I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna let you know my guess. So Sam, you don't have any messages to your fans yet or your supporters. What do you want to tell them that they've been here, you know, uh, for in your journey at Miss Universe Philippines? To all the people who have supported me, maraming maraming salamat. All of your love, all of the likes, all of the shares, and even all of the votes, they really do go such a long way. And I'm so happy to be here with you and to be here representing all of you as my team Ingrid or my Ingridables. <laughs> Laban tayo. Oh. <laughs> so happy that, you know, all of us are going on this journey together. And if you're new here, you can follow my fan page at Ingrid Universe or Sam underscore Universal or my Instagram page at Sam Santa Maria. I also have a Facebook fan page, Ingrid Santa Maria. Okay, so thank you for giving me an idea on where to post your interviews. And guys, oh my goodness, we're following each other on TikTok. And she has consent <laughs> there. Please follow her on TikTok and me also. So, gosh, Sam, thank you so much for opening season three of Pageant Talk to Gia La Sala. I praise the Lord for you. Thank you for making this um, episode so special. 
Um, all I can say is that God is so proud of you. Thank you so much for taking this risk. Whatever you do, continue to honor God and He will definitely meet you, not halfway, but on the first step that you make for Him. So again, we're very proud of you, Sam. Thank you for you know, proving to us that even if you're a neophyte in everything or in any industry, you can prove people wrong and you can, um, yeah, you can get their attention. So all of the young people today, Look up to this girl, Sam. She's new to the Philippine pageant industry, but she's already um, getting breakthroughs and she's getting everyone's attention. So again, guys, oh my goodness, follow her and make sure to follow, like, and subscribe to all of my social media accounts, our social media accounts. And thank you for always supporting. We are now in season three. I praise the Lord for, for everyone supporting. And yeah, see you on the next episode of Pageant Talks with... Giela Salas now in season three. So bye. Hi everyone.